What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I finally received my 3-4 scale Arcade 1-Up Street Fighter Edition Arcade Cabinet. I've been eagerly awaiting this and I cannot wait to put it together. But in this video, I'm not going to be giving you any gameplay or anything like that. I want to do an overview of the hardware. I have found zero information online. I saw one YouTuber take a picture of the PCB and they called it a Raspberry Pi. It's definitely not a Raspberry Pi. I'm really interested to see what CPU and RAM this thing is running. It looks fairly easy to put together. This is everything that's in the box. It has full instructions with it and they have instructional videos on YouTube. So it does come with a 17 inch monitor in here. This is just an LCD panel. I'm going to flip this thing over and inside of the little box that's attached to the back of the LCD panel is where the magic happens. All right, so here we are. There's nothing special going on just yet. I want to take a closer look here. Looks like we have some power going to the LCD plus the LCD display connector and a ground wire. This whole thing's powered by a 12 volt, three amp power supply that's included with the kit. So I wanted to get specs on the CPU and the RAM, but it looks like they have sanded off the logos, which is a bummer. I have seen this before and I got a little trick. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. At first glance, I thought it was tape on the CPU and the RAM chip. The big chip is the CPU. The small chip is the RAM chip. So this board is running some form of Linux. I don't see any UART connector on here, but it could be built into the GPIO pins up top. Um, let's take a closer look. Let's see if we can decipher what CPU this thing is. I speculated before and I've left comments on my own videos. I think it's a one gigahertz single core CPU with 512 megabytes of RAM. So here's the board pulled out of the metal casing. It's very reminiscent of a Pandora's box. And I got a sneaky suspicion here that we're kind of getting the same hardware. One of the big questions everybody's been asking, can you add more games? Not right now, and I don't see it happening anytime soon either. There is no way to add an SD card slot here. There are some extra solder spots for extra memory, but then we have to come up with an operating system to launch those games because each set of games has a specific launcher, but I wouldn't be surprised that all of the games from all of their units that are out right now are already programmed onto this board here, and it's a matter of jumping a solder spot to unlock, let's say, Rampage on this Street Fighter board. Now, I have no clue if that's accurate whatsoever. These could be separate boards for each system. They're all going to look the same, but they will be programmed different, or they could have everything on a single board already. Now it's time for the main event. We need to find out what CPU this is. Like I mentioned, I don't see any UART connectors on the board. I'm sure there's something here that they were able to flash this with, but I don't want to go probing around. Usually, I could plug this into a Linux machine with a UART adapter, pull a little bit of information from it, and kind of find out what the CPU is. But today, we're going to go old school with this. I don't know why manufacturers sometimes sand off the information from the CPU and different chips, so all the chips on this board have been sanded down. But luckily, most ARM chips are either stamped or kind of etched, so if they didn't sand far enough down, we can see it with this method here. Grab a little bit of alcohol on my finger, I'm going to rub it on the CPU, and as it's drying, if they didn't sand too far, we can see it. And there it is. In the top left hand corner of the chip we have an AW, that stands for all winner. Right in the middle we have an A13, that's the model of the chip. It's an all winner A13. These are single core CPUs clocked anywhere from 800 megahertz up to 1.2 gigahertz. When the alcohol starts drying up you can't see it anymore so I reapplied it and I took a few pictures. All winner A13, it's an old chip. ARM Cortex A8, 55 nanometer, clocked anywhere from 800 megahertz to 1.2 gigahertz. Most of the time, they're at 1 gigahertz. It does have a built-in GPU. It's a Mali MP400 at 300 megahertz. It'll do 1080p at 30 FPS, and it's perfectly capable of playing arcade games like this. I'm not sure if they're using an in-house emulator, but these things do work with FBA and MAME pretty well. It's a pretty low-end chip for today's standards, but what this cabinet was designed to do, the CPU can handle it. I did mention Pandora's boxes, and I actually have a PCB from one here. It's the exact same CPU. I bet you it's the same RAM. On this board here, this was from a Pandora's Box 4S. We have an all-winner A13 with 256 megabytes of RAM. 
Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison. On the left, we have the Pandora's Box CPU. On the right, we have the Arcade 1UP CPU. I did try to use the alcohol method on the RAM, but there's nothing that I can see whatsoever. So if I had to guess, we're working with 256 megabytes of RAM, possibly 512. So there you have it, mystery solved. Single core CPU, perfectly capable of the games that these things were designed to play. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I need to go ahead and put this whole cabinet together. I will make more videos on this. I'm going to go over build quality, the controller. I'm going to compare it to my Rec Room Masters 3-4 scale Alphacade. But most importantly, I want to see how it performs. So keep an eye on the channel. I got a lot more coming on this unit. Like always, thanks for watching.